Hi, this is Christian Bance, and this is another tech tip about using, it's not building a random sequencer, but we're going to use a random sequencer to create some generative ideas, melodies, atmospheres, different things that can help uh, you basically destroy that creative writing block uh, and create some different vibes, different melodies, different feels, different everything going on in the music, uh, all by using a really simple pattern, which is just this 16th note uh, with a few sequences. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to just do this. I've pre-done three different sequences uh, here, sequencer one, two, and three, and you can see they're sort of a little bit color-coded. I've got some synths and an Ableton drum kit here and another synth. But basically I'm going to start with sequencer one. I'm going to do that as a bit of a bass sequence. Let's have a listen. And what we have in our sequencer rack here is we've got the random note on 100% at the moment. Velocity groove right up full which is basically the randomness of, of the velocity. A little bit of variation, because we're using a bass note, uh, look, just um, from, from trying and testing things, bass notes, you don't really want too many. You really, if you look at uh, music in general, dance music in particular, bass notes usually linger around one, two, three notes. You don't want it getting too complex. That's where all the other notes and all the other information's for. Uh, and so we're not going to jump around the scale or any octaves here. And what we can do is have a listen to what I've done over here, combining this sequencer, which is really basic, with something that's got a little bit more variation here. Okay, so we've got an extra note in our variation here. Maybe we can jump it up a little bit. Maybe let's get seven different notes. And I'll unmute this. So all these things here are affected by this second sequence. We can put the bass back in quickly and affect the second sequencer. And also what I've done here is I've just dragged, let's go into drums, just got one of the integrated standard Ableton drum kits here, a kit 808 called Babble Box, which has got a little bit of a little bit of different stuff going on, but basically it's an 808 kit with uh, a little bit of a different feel than normal. And with the sequencer, let's just highlight this. So So what we have to do is have a look at where all the notes are being played over here in our drum kit. And we can use the drum kit with the random sequencer too, but what I've had to do is throw in, so if you get a MIDI, all the MIDI effects are here. I've just dragged a pitch in from here like this, and I've followed it until I've brought the notes like that into here and we can hear the different things going on so as you can see i mean it's a little bit trancey it's a little bit slow moving but 
I'm, I'm leaving it this way so that we can hear the interplay between the different notes and also the drum sounds occurring on the different, um, the different parts of the scale that we've been using. Look, I've got a third sequencer over here where I've got even more variation and jumping around a lot uh, with the scale here of randomness. We can listen to it by itself. I've just used another ANA synth over here. Plux, trance, octave, pluck. I've changed a bit of the attack on the filter envelope and amp envelope just to create even more diversity in what's playing and changed a few things over here just so that the velocity is changing everything a lot. And what I've done is I've written a pattern just with C and D only three sixteenths of a pattern, just to create even more diversity within that randomness. And just put a little bit of the natural reverb and delay that come with a Ableton template. So you can see that just by having this sequencer, we can create something that's hypnotic uh, very quickly. This sequencer can be used in, in many ways. Uh, it doesn't have to be used to create something hypnotic in itself. It just can be used as a tool to bounce notes off each other, to bounce sounds off each other, and to have them generate without uh, you as the producer having to do so much uh, every time that you want to include something new uh, into your creative process. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.